Hey guys, in the shed with Red. Today we're doing tie rod change on the 95 DS. We finished this earlier this week, um, but I did not replace the tie rod ends originally and I felt like that's something I needed to do. Put a lot of money into this card otherwise, so I figured $25, $30 for the parts uh, would be appropriate, especially since we did all the other suspension work. Uh, I'm just gonna walk you through what we did. So, The new tie rods are actually on already for the passenger side. And on the passenger side, it's two tie rods there and I've replaced them. So I'm just gonna walk through doing the driver's side. All right, so the biggest problem is access. Um, I have a six inch lift on there now, so I have more room to work in this area and I should be able to manipulate this one pretty easy. I'm gonna try to do it and shoot the video at the same time. Uh, a little bit challenging. You have a cotter pin that fits in here. This one has fallen out. Um, I had a little finish nail in to hold it. I've already pulled it out. So I'm going to pop this loose real quick. 9 sixteenths on the old one coming out. And then you use your breaker bar or your tie rod bar. I don't know the exact name and just pop it on and pull this one out. Now I've already manipulated this one so it came out really easy, but whenever you pull the original suspension off, you have to give it a good bit of encouragement. I'll we'll say it like that. All right, so then this either is counter threads or a standard thread. Now this one is counter thread or actually a standard thread because it's lefty loosey. And we'll pull it off. And my new one is going on, so it should just screw in. Now, I've already pulled that tie rod off originally and loosened the bolts. That was one thing that was a bit of a challenge. So, and that'd be something that you have to adjust on your own whenever you do it. But this back tie rod, uh, whenever you're taking the whole suspension off, just take it off, clean it up, and then it'll move appropriately. I've lost my cushion that goes here, so we'll find it and get it put on. All right, so we'll tighten it down and don't lose your bumper protection. And get it where you want it. A couple turns. And this one hand is a little bit more of a challenge. But if you manipulate your wheel a little bit, it'll actually fall down in. When I first started putting these in, I thought I was going to have to drill out my holes in my new mount, but that's not correct. Um, just manipulate your wheel, the pin will fall down in. And then it's a, the new bolt is actually 11 16 so it just goes back on. And we'll put the cotter pin in. Um, stay tuned, we're going to do another video on tow and camber. And we'll get this baby right. So once we have this... The most aggravating part of any of it is finding where this carter pin goes. There we go. We'll get her pinned down. And we're ready to rock. 